Now, what are the different different types of <coughs> basis set? Generally, basis sets are divided in four types. First is the minimum basis basis set. The other is split balance split balance basis set, which is also known as purple basis set. And third one, we have a correlation consistent basis set that is also known as during basis set. Then we have a plain wave basis set. So all of the basis set have different use. First one will take minimal basis set. Minimal basis set that is STONG, where n is the number of primitive Gaussians used for semi-empirical calculations. While the split valence basis set it was given by the purple, also known as purple basis set, where we use split valence orbital, and this is used in the modern avenues of calculations like DFT and all. Then we have a correlation consistent basis set. Here we use this CC correlation consistent. <coughs> So in this case, we use CCPV, TZ, DZ, and different different functionals. So this is also used in Avenisio. Generally, we use these kind of basis set in the post hatrifog method because there we need the, to get the more accurate energy. Okay. And then we have a plane wave basis set. Plane wave basis set generally we use in the you know uh, the plane wave uh, system like polymer system or a periodic system. We are, and in this case, we use pseudo potentials for uh, boundary conditions, not the normal basis set. So this plane wave basis set is known as pseudo uh, like pseudo potential. So this kind of system we use in the periodic system like uh, polymers. Okay. So these are different types of basis set. And the a split valence basis set is generally uh, this is the notation for for just a basic notation for a purple a style basis set okay so this a is what total number of primitive gaussian function describe the inner cell electron that is also the core electron okay and this hyphen is giving you the uh, like uh, split valence we are uh, splitting the valence and the core orbitals electron then you have b c d b c d is the valence orbital composed of three basis function triple zeta basis here okay if it is just BC, then it is a valence orbital composed of two basis function. So it would be double base, B, uh, zeta basis. Then you have G. This G is the Gaussian type orbitals. Now this B, which is giving you the valence orbitals, B is a primitive Gaussian type orbitals for inner valence electron. C is for the medium valence electron. And D is for the outer valence electrons. And uh, in, for example, we have 3, 2, 1, G. 631G, these type of basis set is also known as purple style basis set. And valence orbital with only one basis function correspond to minimal basis set. Okay, suppose um, we have STO1G, okay, that is also known as minimal basis set. STO2G, 3G, all these are minimal basis set. Understood? Now we have this uh, polarization function. So you might have heard about the polarization function, right? What is polarization function? So as so this is suppose s orbital and this is the p orbital. When we mix these orbitals, we'll be having polarized s orbital. Okay. P orbital we mix d orbital to get the polarized p orbital. As atom approaches the atoms uh, atomic orbital, uh, we might want to shift to one another side. Okay. That is the polarization. S, uh, S orbital uh, polarization is in one direction and it can be represented by the mixing of uh, uh, like more diffuse P orbital to the S. Similarly, in case of P, we can uh, diffuse uh, D orbital and these allow to change the shape. One star means one set of uh, D polarization function added to the heavy element. Uh, this should be the one star means the P, P polarization. Okay. And if there is a two star means the depolarization added to the heavy element like and yeah just one star means the depolarization added to the heavy heavy element and there is a two star means uh, the one one polar like uh, polarization d type of polarization function added to the heavy elements like carbon oxygen nitrogen and blah 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 and the p type of polymer like uh, polarization function added to these lighter elements like hydrogen and helium okay general uh, to polarize a basis function with the angular momentum l mix with basis function with l plus one suppose you want to polarize uh, p orbital so you have to mix d orbital with like, which i'm also represented as l plus one that is the angular momentum value similarly we have uh, having the 
So these are the examples of uh, with uh, basis set with polarization function. Now we are having the diffuse function. Diffuse function are the when electron density, the electron density exists far away from the nuclear center. In those cases, whatever basis that we are using, that is, uh, that is, will not give you the adequate information. In those cases, we have to use or introduce this diffuse function. Diffuse function is what? Uh, diffuse function holds the electron density little away from the nucleus. And for an ionic system, the reverse state, excited state, electron transition, and the more electron active at element cases, we have to use this diffuse function okay diffuse function accurately uh, uh, it uh, necessarily for the accurate polarizabilities binding in azure and the van der waal complexes one plus means there will be p diffuse function will be added to the heavy element the two plus means one uh, diffuse function will be added to the heavy element and s tab diffuse function will be added to the the lighter element like hydrogen and helium so using this diffuse function the results will be totally you know it will be totally different so in those cases when we require to use this uh, um, diffuse function we should use it these are the example of uh, this is set with diffuse function 321g 3211 plus plus 3 so these are the with uh, basis set with diffuse function and these are the with diffuse function and the polarization function Now, we will discuss about the basis set notation in case of correlation consistent basis set. Okay, in this case, we use AUG that is for the augmented, we use for AUG for the uh, diffuse function. In split valence, we use plus plus, here we use augmentation AUG. Then we have this CC that is the correlation consistent, then PV and Z. P stands for polarization, polarization function, V stands for the valence orbital, valence only basis set, and the N is the zeta basis and z is the and z okay so in this case we'll be having uh, these are the several example for the uh, basis set ccpv dz ccpv tz aug ccpv dz these are the different types of basis set in the correlation concerns 